Danny, why has BYD got Ferrari and Lamborghini in its sights? This sounds very ambitious from BYD. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they're trying to push heavily into this luxury segment, more expensive cars, particularly expensive EVs. It's bread and butter and it's pushing into areas where it can deliver much higher margins, deliver better profitability and of course being known for affordable cars. So by targeting luxury cars and particularly this time a luxury supercar, it thinks it can really take on the likes of the European supers such as Ferrari, such as Lamborghini. And yeah, this, you know, this expensive supercar, it's most expensive yet and fascinating. Some of the stats, it can get to 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 2.36 seconds and a top speed of almost 310 kilometers an hour. So it's a pretty good going for a first fully electric a sports car. And as you see, the rivals such as Ferrari, Lamborghini, they're still developing out their products. They do have ambitions, but right now, some of these cars that are in development still concepts or not not quite there as a fully electric, only a hybrid. So yeah, BYD taking the first blow here on what is a very important market, particularly as they start selling out in China. Yeah, that stat, as, as well as the price tag, really stood out to me. Zero to 100 in under 2.4 seconds. That is, that, is quite, that is quite something. That's remarkable. Uh, this is a company, better known, it's the biggest EV maker in the world, BYD, or Build Your Dreams. Uh, but largely, that is the affordable segment. So why push out into, into high luxury, super end, top end, and the most expensive autos? Why, why does it matter for BYD? Yeah, I mean, right now, by pushing into this uh, more expensive segment, it's going through what is a ferocious price war, uh, particularly on the more affordable EVs that you know, many, many players are in. There's not so much competition in the high-end space, particularly when it comes to electric vehicles. So by delivering better margins and better products that can sell well, it has the money, that financial firepower, to keep cutting its prices in the mass market segment. In China right now, demand is a little bit you know, weak across the board for consumers when it comes to whether they will buy expensive cars. However, BYD is really pushing uh, and trying to really uh, push out competitors as it remains the leader in EVs and autos in the world's biggest autos market.